I love mangoes and today I'm going to show you how to make mangoes a lot more interesting. I'm going to make hedgehogs and you're thinking how do you make mango hedgehogs? All you do is kind of just cut the mangoes and then fold them in and you make a hedgehog. But I have a little touch that I want to add. So if you want to know if a mango is ripe or not you're going to squeeze it and if it's quite soft like this one is then it's ripe and then you've got to also give it a smell test and if it smells like a mango that means it's a ripe mango. Also what you've got to look for, there's a stone in the middle of the mango and there's a, thi like a thin side and there's a fat side here and you don't want to cut the mango like that because then you're going to hit the stone. You want to go cut the mango like here and here so you get these pieces with no stone in them. You might need an adult for this because you do need to use a sharp knife. So I'm going to get as close as I can to the middle so we get a fat chunk of mango. There we go. Lovely jubbly. It's a piece of mango. Then we can do the next half. Put that back there. There we go. Another nice piece of mango. Well, what we can do with this bit, we're just going to cut some of this skin off. So this is the bit with the stone and you're probably thinking why would you eat the stone but you're not because there's all this mango around it and you're just missing out so you don't want to miss out. This is my favourite bit of it and this is the bit that the chef gets and you just eat around the pit. So now we're going to turn them into hedgehogs. So we, ha we don't need to use the sharp knife anymore but we use a blunt knife because we don't want to cut through the skin. So we're just going to go like this like that. They don't have to be evenly spaced but I like to do it like this. Just cutting lines about a centimetre apart. I'm doing mine quite long here. There's big ones there and small ones there. It doesn't really matter. But yeah and now we're going to do them on the other side. Just like this. We're going to get this and just fold it up. That's the hedgehog. And now we're going to do the next one. So this is a good thing to get the kids to do. And I am a kid so personally I like it. So now I'm going to pop it open. Oh, that looks like so much like a tea. I'm going to eat them. I've got mine and I've got my little brother Rivers. And, well, you could just eat it like this. So now I'm going to do my secret touch. There's pestle and water here and we've got some mint in it. And also got some sugar. And this is like a little sprinkling that you can add to the, um, the mango to make it a lot more delicious. So what you're going to do, you add two tablespoons of sugar. You don't need all of the sugar and all of this mint, but you can just save this for later. And then you can just put these leaves into it. The people that have a sweet tooth in my family are probably like River, me, Mum and Poppy. Maybe Daisy, I'm not too sure. Just going to add this last one. So now we get our pestle and water hammer and we're going to bash it. So did you know, Pesto Mortal was actually one of the first kitchen gadgets in the world and Gennaro actually has a collection of them. So, a strange thing to collect but, yeah, I collect Star Wars figures, me and my dad collect them. So you bash it like this and then you muddle it like this, shake it, just like rub it. You know it's ready when it's turned into a, like a sprinkling consistency, like that. And before we add this onto our mango, we're just going to add a few drizzles of lime on top. So, I'm just going to roll this to get more of the lime juice out when you squeeze it. Get this like that. Put that on one side and we just squeeze this on our mango. Um, so you squeeze the lime on the mango because it brings out a lot more flavour. And now, we can just put our mangoes on the plate. We're going to sprinkle some on mine, just like that, from a height, as Dad says. Apparently it's the rules. You must do it. And then we're going to do some forever. This is going to be like, it don't want it because it's green. And he's going to try it and look. Oh, it's so sweet. There we go. So, there's only one thing left to do, and it's to eat it. I'm going to eat mine. 
Mm. Mango, but it tastes so much better with the lime and all of the the mint and everything. Now I'm going to give this one to River. Unless I eat it before he gets it. <laughs> 